Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. Today, as always, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Let's see what we are making fancy today. Drum rolls. Baby food. I might have tried this before. I just don't remember. This is a carrot baby food. My baby boy is four months old. He's going to start baby food soon. I think it's a great opportunity for me to taste this. Let's see how it is. It's very runny. Smells sweet. Oh, it's actually not bad. It tastes like sweet cooked carrot. What do you think is the best sweetness? From carrot. <laughs> this is maybe the best thing I had in this show. I think I can make something very cool with this. So as always, I'm excited to make it fancy. All right, here's what I got. Raisins, heavy cream, walnuts, orange, butter, cream cheese, canola oil, eggs, and carrots. From the pantry, I got flour, powdered sugar, brown sugar, sugar, ground ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking soda, baking powder, vanilla extract, salt, and orange liquor. Let's get started. Be careful. <laughs> Make it fancy. First step, we are using whole jar of baby food. Put it in a saucepan. It's a lot. I love this jar. I think, I think I'm gonna clean it and use it for something else like make jams or I don't know, put beans, I don't know. If you have some ideas, let me know. <laughs> Two tablespoons of sugar, medium heat, and just cook until sugar dissolve. When do you believe that they first started mass marketing and mass producing baby food? 1940. 1920. Oh, wow. I think sugar has dissolved. I'm going to pour over into this seal pot. It's a silicone baking mat, and I like this product because you can use over and over. It's eco-friendly. Kind of spreading very thinly. Last touch. I'm going to bake this in an oven 200 feet high for two to three hours. So next step, use I'm doing a horrible job opening a bag. I'm going to use one cup and a half walnuts. Spread them out. You toast this in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit, about five to seven minutes until fragrant. So we have toasty walnuts. It's cool to touch and I'm going to chop everything. I sometimes feel like whole walnuts kind of look like a brain. <laughs> Is it just me? Cut like rough chop. Is that your lady? This is not my lady. My lady is at home, still maternity leave, recovering. <laughs> <laughs> I am making something for adult, because baby cannot eat what I'm making yet. Divide half cup and rest of it it's in a, this bowl. And I am going to add half cup of raisins. I don't have any strong feeling toward raisins. <laughs> it's like, okay, I don't hate you and I don't love you. So half cup of raisins into half cup of walnut bowl. And I'm gonna gently toss, add one tablespoon of flour, gonna mix it well, looks good. Right, we are moving on to next step. So I'm going to measure out dry ingredients. First, I don't need two and a half cup of flour and one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoon of baking powder. 
half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one and half teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of ginger and lightly mix smell like autumn okay so we are going to mix wet ingredients first one and a half cup of brown sugar adding half cup sugar and one cup of canola oil four eggs we have more baby food the same flavor, it's a carrot baby food. I'm using three fourths cup. When you are baking, sometimes you use apple sauce, but this baby food works perfect. One teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm gonna just mix everything. So now I'm going to fold in the dry ingredients. When you are mixing dry and wet ingredients, change it to spatula so it doesn't get very tough texture. To make sure scraping side of the bowl. I develop this symptom. I think it happens to mom a lot called mom wrist. Because you are picking up a baby over and over, you kind of hurt your wrist and it's very painful. Mixing motion, it's a little bit challenging for me. I think I might have to give up whipping cream with, uh, <laughs> with my hand. It's mixed well, it's the texture of baby food. <laughs> I'm going to peel carrots. I'm grating two carrots. I'm using the biggest hole of the cheese grater. Okay, so the first carrot is almost done. Now for the second carrot, it's two cups of carrot and orange zest from one whole orange. Raisin and walnut mixture from earlier, holding in. And I'm going to divide butter into three pans. If you want to make sure it's even, you can use scale. So each pan has the same amount of butter. Spread this evenly. We are going to bake all three of these at 350 Fahrenheit, about 25 to 30 minutes. We baked this about three hours. So the consistency you're looking for is look like a fruit leather. It's like a pie ball. This is really cool. It's like very thin. Rie, have you ever had a fruit roll up? No. Well, but I know what it is, so this is why I know the texture. Well, maybe you'll have some soon. That's the hint. And I'm going to trim the edge, cut like half inch. We have reusable straw, kind of thick straw, and kind of make a spiral. Okay, wrap the smoother side onto the straw and gently wrap it. If you don't have a straw, you can use any kind of like handle, like spatula or like ladle. So this one is done. After you made a pretty spiral, you're going to wrap like tight so you can keep the shape. I'm going to wrap two more straws with this carrot leather and move on to the next step. All right, so I have one cup of sugar and a quarter cup of water. Make sure water is kind of moisting all the sugar. Once you start heating up, you don't want to touch it. If you touch it while you're cooking, this get crystallized and you don't want that. So I'm going to cook this over medium high heat about five to seven minutes until sugar is caramelized and the color is a little bit like amber. Right, so color is nice. I'm gonna take off from the heat and adding two thirds of cream. The whisk. And it's get very hot, so be careful. And adding butter, one stick. So I'm cutting butter small chunks because if you drop one stick butter in the caramel, I don't want to splash all over. It's very dangerous. And just make it melty. 
And it smells nice and it's tempting, but it's very hot, so don't put your finger in this. And once butter is completely melt, you're going to add a two tablespoons of orange liquor. As you know, I like using alcohol, yes. And you are going to add two ounces of carrot baby food. And to finish, pinch of salt. Right, this is looking good. Put it in a heat proof container and put it in a refrigerator until I use. So the texture is a little bit hardened and thicker. So I have 16 ounce cream cheese and one stick butter and I'm going to cream together. Butter is a little hard. I'm adding powdered sugar, two cups at a time, eight cups in total. Ah. Yeah, this is why we are adding two cups at a time. Getting messy. It's getting like a snowball, like snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Last portion. Two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, looking good. And if it's getting a little bit too thick, you can add heavy cream to thin it out. So we are ready to move on. So we have cakes over here and we have frosting here. First, I'm going to do crumb coat and I'm gonna take small amount of frosting, like a glue. I'm also glue the bottom. Use this. An ice cream scoop is a good tool to frost cake because you can make sure the same amount of frosting is going on top of the cake. Spread the frosting evenly. This is our second layer of cake and second layer of frosting. Okay, looks good. Finally, we have third layer of cake and third layer of frosting. And whenever you are going into frost, make sure to clean so the crumb is not coming into the fresh batch of frosting. Okay, so I coat everything. So we are going to put this in the freezer for 15 minutes to make the frosting harden. If you don't have enough space in the freezer, you can put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So this cake has been in the freezer for 15 minutes. The frosting is hardened and I'm going to finish this up. Two big scoop. I'm adding new thick layer of frosting. And once the top part is smooth, you're going to work on the side. When you are decorating cake, offset spatula is important. It makes your life easier. A rotating cake stand is very helpful. And you are just put offset steady and move your cake stand. And it kind of scrapes excess frosting and make it smooth. I feel like person who fix wall because <laughs> you want to make it smooth. That doesn't need to be too perfect because we are going to coat with caramel and walnuts. This is the walnuts I chopped earlier and just like grab a handful and kind of put on the side, cover like two thirds of the cake on the bottom. So we are going to put this in a freezer for 15 minutes to make frosting harden. While cake is in the freezer, I have my carrot leather spiral. So gently remove from the straw, kind of hold the shape. That's in the sugar. These are looking good. Time to get the cake. So I have caramel I made earlier. It's still kind of runny. And I'm going to pour this on top and kind of let the caramel to drip by itself. So more I pour on top, it's kind of dripping, like a drip cake, drip, drip. Caramel dripped nice, and I'm going to put it in the freezer, just like harden the caramel about five minutes and do the final decorating. Cake is out from the freezer, I'm going to decorate. <laughs> 
I got frosting in a piping bag. I feel like I'm doing a little bit too big, so I'm gonna just do five. We have baby food in the cake. We have baby food in the caramel. We have baby food in the spiral. So frosting is looking good, and I'm going to put the carrot spiral on top, and we are done. Baby food carrot cake, super fancy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you make a home. If you make it, tag me on Instagram. And don't forget to dance, make it fancy.